Welcome back to the battery import project. As I promised last time, this episode will be all about the battery communications and monitoring. The Jericho battery, which is manufactured by Top Band, does come with Bluetooth and serial port communications as standard features on every battery. First, let's talk about Bluetooth. There is a Bluetooth radio built into the BMS that can be paired to a mobile app available in both the Google Play Store and the Apple Store. To download the app, Search for TB Energy or Top Band and you will see the logo highlighted in red here. Click on that and you will see a similar screen to this. Before we open up the app, please keep in mind that this app is made by Top Band and has their logo and information in it. I will be getting my own version of this app created with my own branding and information, but the app will be 100% the same in every way. I will obviously let everyone know when my app is ready to be released, but that won't be for a while, so for now everyone will just have to use the Top Band app. After you have downloaded and installed the app, open it up and it will bring you to a main screen that scans your immediate area for any Jericho or Top Band batteries. Incidentally, this will work with any Life Blue batteries or any other batteries that are also manufactured by Top Band. Here you can see the Bluetooth signal strength and the name of the battery. Tap that and it will bring up the main dashboard for that battery. This will show you your state of charge, the voltage of the battery, the capacity of the battery, and the status of the battery. Here I connected the battery to a charger and you can see that the status information changed and it tells me how long until the battery is either fully charged if you are charging or fully discharged if you're discharging. If you hit the second tab over at the top, it changes to another screen where you have a precise measurement of the amp draw on the battery, the internal temperature of the battery, and how many cycles that you've used on the battery. I really like the cycle counter so that you can keep track of how much life is left in the battery. This could also come into play if you wanted to sell your battery to someone else down the road. You could tell them exactly how many cycles you have in the battery to make them more comfortable that they're still getting a battery with plenty of life. The third tab will show events and notifications such as error messages. I haven't had anything appear here yet, so I can't show you what it looks like. But the final tab is where you can find support contact information for the battery. Again, I'll be getting my own Jericho version of this app that will replace all of this information. If you tap the three little dots in the upper right hand corner, it will bring up a configuration menu. At the top you have the name of the battery, which you can change so that you can easily identify batteries if you have a battery bank with multiple batteries. Under the option that says Pro Info, if you tap that and enter the password 1234, this brings you to a more advanced info screen with individual voltages of each cell and a green or red status light for all eight BMS protection functions. So from left to right on top you have high voltage, low voltage, overcurrent charge, overcurrent discharge, and then on the bottom from left to right you have low temperature discharge, low temperature charge, high temperature discharge, and high temperature charge. If any of those are red, the BMS has disconnected the battery to protect the cells for that reason. So that's pretty much it for Bluetooth. For more advanced users, each Jericho battery comes with two RJ45 ports that can be used for serial communications. The protocols that can be used are RS-232 or RS-485, CAN, Zongying, and TTL. There are two ports so that you can daisy chain batteries in a battery bank and set them as slaves. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably don't want to try this. Anyway, to show you the serial communications, I created my own cable with an old ethernet cable that will plug into the RJ45 port on the battery. I hacked off one of the connectors and used the brown wire and the white brown wire to connect to a USB serial port adapter. I chose this unit at the recommendation of one of my subscribers, James Randolph, who helped me figure all this out since it's been years since I've done anything with Serial. He recommended this adapter because it has good driver support in Windows. I'll put the link in the video description for you. I'm going to demonstrate the Serial app for you on my desktop computer. Top Band has provided the Serial app that I will put up for download on my yet to be released webpage. Just plug in the cable to one of the RJ45 ports and the adapter to a USB port on your computer. Then open up the executable program. Because it is an EXE file, you may have to temporarily disable your antivirus. Just be aware of that. When it launches, you'll see this screen. Before we can connect, we need the information in the red boxes here. 
To find the COM port that the USB adapter is using, you can open up Device Manager and you should see the adapter listed under the Ports heading. Make note of that port and then go back to the app and plug in that value. Because I'm going to use half duplex for RS-485, I use the baud rate of 19,200. After plugging in the right information, click on Open Port in the red box area here and then Open Sampling right under it. You will see all the values pop up in the cells in the table below. That is if we did all the wiring and configuration correctly. If you did it correctly, you will also notice that the red lights on the adapter will start blinking as data starts flowing. You can also click the Read Info button in the bottom right to ask the BMS for some more information such as the capacity, barcode, and firmware. I'm not going to go into a deep dive into every single thing you can do with this because I'm still learning some of it myself. But if you really know what you're doing, you can calibrate the battery yourself or set your own low voltage disconnect value. You can also upgrade the firmware of the BMS supposedly, although I'll have to get some more information from Top Band on that in the future. So hopefully that gives you guys a good idea of what you can expect from those communications features on this battery. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to my channel or you're interested in these batteries, definitely subscribe and hit that notification icon.